What's up guys, uh, it's here, the Team Associated Rival MT-10. Now if you, like me, have been waiting for one of these and they've been out of stock everywhere, can't get them on anywhere, and if you've been waiting for them, they are back in stock, you can get them from certain suppliers, but not every supplier, which suggests to me that they're not, there's not that many of them. So if you're waiting for one, uh, I would quickly jump off now, get yourself signed up on one of the websites, stick it in the basket or buy it, then come back, watch the video, see if you want to buy one. If you don't, you can cancel it. If you do, you've already got it reserved. Don't worry, I'll wait. Welcome back. Thanks for clicking. Um, here we are, we've got another video. Today we've got the Team Associated Rival MT-10. Um, I've been looking forward to this car for a little bit. I watched uh, Tom Lee RC's review of it and it looked like a really cool, really durable car. Um, it's in the upper end of our beginner car um, ratio. This was, I think they're, they're all going up. It's hard to say at the moment, but as of today, it's 269 pounds. Um, that may well change, but um, we'll get you in, let's get you in close, have a quick look at it, and then we'll get back to charge up and we'll take it out. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna be quite small because the box is, the box is very small. Anyway, come on in. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the specs of what we can expect to see. So we've got um, this Tim Stratio Rival MT10. Um, it's got a 2.4 gigahertz two channel radio system, which is fairly standard. High torque digital servo. It doesn't say what kilogram it is. Have we got a kilogram anywhere? No, it's not saying. Powerful, really 3,300 kV brushless motor. Uh, water resistant, high power, really brushless speed control with T plug connector and LiPo low voltage cut. Again, don't know what the uh, atmosphere is. 12mm hex wheels, oh, 12mm, okay, 12mm hex wheels. Threaded oil filled coil over shock absorbers. Uh, steel turnbuckles that are adjustable. Durable slider type drive shafts. Hmm. Factory finished in the team associated colours. High traction all terrain tyres. Steel drive shaft. Wheelie bar with LEDs, oh, we've got LED lights, full independent suspension, durable impact absorbing front bumper with LEDs. And there's some pictures of all of that. All right, enough messing around, let's go out of the box. Okay, so what do we get? Well, we've got a uh, Team Associated XP120 controller, very light, um, doesn't feel the greatest quality straight out of the box. Got a cool little disc design in there. And what we got on the top here? Usual throttle steering, trim, and we've got the DR so you can make it slower if you're gonna let your kids play with it or if you're like me and not very good. Fairly solid, but not that great. We've got a little bind wire. We've got a manual and catalog, which has got all the part numbers in. We've got three small Allen keys. Um, and an instruction manual for your receiver, for your transmitter, and that's it. That's not a, not a massive amount, but what else do you need really? Anyway, here's the truck. I thought I'd leave the uh, plastic peeling for the video. Does anyone else find that very satisfying? Okay, well it looks, it looks pretty cool. It's got, um, Oh, some lovely feeling shock absorbers. I don't know what it is about shock absorbers, guys. I love a bit of shock absorber action. Um, anyway, <laughs> yeah, it looks looks cool. Some soft tyres. I like those tyres. Those tyres are good. Okay, so before we take it apart, should we see what the size difference is like? Uh, in this video, the part of a 110 armour is going to be played by the Maverick Quantum. Um, because... Well, I've sold the Vortex. Okay, so as you can see, oh, to be fair, it's not actually, it's not actually any smaller. It just looks smaller. If we uh, lift it up, so you can see, about the same, about the same length. So this is the same size as a Vortex, if you remember the video. 
And this is not much smaller. It's got the same wheels on it, it's wheel span. Uh, it's perhaps a bit thinner. It's perhaps a, this is a, this is a bit wider, but it is quite wide. But yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's a weird one, guys. It just looks, it looks smaller than it is. Anyway, okay. So it's about the same size as a Maverick Quantum, which is the same size as a Vortex. So let's have a look. We've got a nice body. Let's have that body off. Okay. Uh, it's a flimsy body, guys. Looks like it might be a bit brittle. It looks so small. Why does it look so small? Anyway, oh, oh, we get you get a free, a free cover. That's a nice little feature. I've not seen that before. Um, to keep all your electrics dry and keep all the dirt off them. That'll be nice. So it comes with a T-plug connector. Just to get the important stuff done, then we'll then we'll get it outside. So we've got a steering servo. We've got no idea what it is. Okay, so we've got a steering servo that they say is high torque, but we don't know what the kilograms of it is. And we've got a speed controller that says it's capable of 2S and 3S, but we don't know what the ampage is. So, hmm, a bit peculiar. But the cover's a nice little touch though, I like that. We've got adjustable, adjustable turnbuckles, which is fairly standard on a car like this. We've got lights, have a look underneath. We've got some aluminium support pins for the lower wishbones, front and rear. Um, quite chunky looking arms, I quite like the look of the arms. Um, I think we've got CVDs, yeah, CVDs with plastic, plastic CVDs in the front, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Quite big shock absorbers, front and rear, just we'll turn back to the rear, and a wheelie bar, which I think it's probably gonna need. Um, okay, well, that's about all I can tell you, really. Let's uh, get a battery charged, fire it up, and take her out in the field and see how she goes. Okay, guys, here we are outside with the rival of the MT-10. Um, gonna give it a bit of, bit of a bash on 2S, and then as you can see behind it, 3S. Um, I'm gonna try and talk you through it, but it is a bit windy, so if when I get back the sound's terrible, you'll just hear music. But, okay, here we go. Steering servo is pretty good. Got these big tyres. Got some front lights on it. We've got some rear lights somewhere as well. Got some rear lights. One's a bit dimmer than the other. Okay, so this is 2S. Let's see how, we, let's see how it goes. It's a bit wet today. And the grass is a bit long.
I'd say it's fast, guys. I mean, this is, that's fast, I've got to say. It is, <laughs> it's a wet day, doing lots of jumps. It's a 2S battery, and it's fast, look. That's the other 2S battery, guys. Um, it's going to be rapid on a 3S, surely. But let's put a 3S in and have a look. But um, I'm impressed with that on the 2S. It jumps well, it goes well. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, we're back on a 3S. But surely a 3S has got to be crazy fast, right? Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm not even using full throttle. <clears throat> okay, so that's the difference between 2S and 3S. 2S. 2S it jumps here and lands here. 3S it jumps here and lands <laughs> over here somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's what happens if you catch the brake by mistake. I really now need to learn how to drive. Jump even. I keep breaking mid-air, what am I doing? It takes it though. It bloody loves it. Okay, managed to control it that time. I think it's probably too dangerous to come this way. But we'll try it. Missed it. Loves it. It's not getting enough height though to do anything about the jump. That's a funny noise. Okay guys, uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I've done something to the servo by the sounds of it. It makes a funny noise. And now when it's driving around it goes every time you turn left, which is, uh, I'm going to have a quick look at it first, see if I've actually broke the servo or if, um, I don't know, if it's come loose or something like that. But anyway, that's the Rival MT guys. Uh, probably better off on 2S if I'm honest. It's fast enough on 2S for someone like me, a noob. You can jump, you can spin, you can drive, you can do everything you want. It's a bit wet, I think if it was dry it would probably be wheelie, um, but it's not dry so it's not. Uh, on 3S it's a bit of an animal, a bit of a pepper army. Um, obviously, you know, we all know I can't drive. Um, that's what I'm here for guys, to see if it will stand up to a noob 
trying to do jumps and uh, crashing it badly. Um, and this does. I mean, there's no, there's no scrapes on it. I mean, it's covered in grass, look. It's covered in grass. It's took some abuse. There's no brakes on the body shell. There's no brakes on the chassis. I mean, as we saw, I crashed it and smashed it a lot there because I'm a rubbish driver. But now when you turn the steering, definitely something not right there, guys. Okay, well, thanks for watching that one. Uh, if you'd like to give us a like. Um, other than that, I'm Ben. This is New RC, and I'll see you in the next one.